hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install mac os big saw on vmware after the installation you should be able to sign into all apple services including icloud imessage and, and everything else now the first thing we have to do is download vmware so let's head to our browser and then search for vmware now click on the link that heads to vmware.com and then up here click on products under desktop hypervisor click on workstation player and then click on download for free now you can see vmware workstation player right here by the right click on go to downloads and then you can see vmware for linux and vmware for windows now click on download now under windows and it should start downloading vmware Next, we also have to download Auto Unlocker. This software is gonna allow us to install Mac OS Big Sur to our VMware. So let's click on the first link that heads to Polo Projects. Now I'll provide the link for each and every one of these two in the video description so you can download directly. By the right, you should see releases. So click on the latest release you can find there. And you should see Unlocker, the latest version right there. Now let's download the zip file. Downloading. One more thing, we also have to download Mac OS Big Saw ISO file. This is the ISO file we're going to use for the installation. The link to this file will be provided in the video description so you can download yourself. The file size is about 16GB so I would recommend you use an internet download manager. I already have this file downloaded so I'm going to close my browser. And then open our download folder. And here we go. This is Mac OS Big Saw ISO file. This is VMware Player. This is Auto Unlocker. And this is SMBIOS, which we are going to use to modify the serial of our Mac OS machine to replicate an actual Mac so we can log into all Apple services. So, this is how it looks like. I'll provide everything in this text file in the video description so you can copy from there yourself. We're going to get to this later, but for now, let's just close it and then install VMware by double clicking on it. Now let's just proceed. Next, I set the terms. Next, 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 and then install. Now click on finish. Now, after installing VMware, run it from your desktop. And now let's create a new virtual machine. Set the installer disk image file, browse, and then locate your download folder and select the downloaded Mac OS Big Saw image file. Open. Next. Now you can see we are getting three options Microsoft, Windows, Linux, and others. You won't be able to find Mac OS here, and this is why we needed Auto Unlocker. So let's close this, close VMware, and then head back to our download folder and then extract auto unlocker now open the extracted folder and then run auto unlocker okay so make sure download tools is selected and now click on patch so this is going to download the required patch and then add it to vmware this should take a while And the patch is complete. Now click on OK. Let's close this and then open VMware. Now let's create a new virtual machine. Select installer disk image, browse the file and select Mac OS Big Saw in your download folder or wherever you kept it. Open. Next. Now you can see guest operating system Mac OS X is now available. Set Mac OS X and then set the version to 11 since Big Sur is 11. Next, we can call the machine name wherever we want. I'm just going to call it Big Sur. This is the location where our machine will be running from, which is in my documents folder. You can see virtual machines and then Mac OS Big Sur. Next, set the disk size. I would recommend anything above 80 gig, but I'm going to give it 100 gigabytes. 
Now you shouldn't allocate more than what you have available on your system. In my case, I have around 201 gigabytes of free space in my C drive where we're going to install macOS Big Sur. So that is fine. Next. Click on customize hardware. Now your memory right here is your RAM which you can increase to wherever you want. But you shouldn't allocate more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine. Else it will slow down your host machine. I have 16 gigs on my PC so I'm going to give it around 6.6 .6 gigabytes and that should be fine. Same thing with the processor as well. Let's click on processor and then set the course. I'm going to set it to 3 since I can run up to 8 on my PC. And then click on close. Now click on finish. You can see we've created a new machine. Now before we boot this machine, if you're using an AMD processor, then there is an extra step you have to take before you can start the machine. Now to find out if you're using an Intel or an AMD processor, simply hold Ctrl Shift Escape key and then go to performance under your task manager. Click on CPU and you should see if you're using an Intel processor or an AMD. In this case, I'm using an Intel based processor so I don't need this command. But if you're using an AMD processor, then you definitely have to do this. Let's head to file manager and then locate where our virtual machine is. In my case, it is my documents, virtual machine, Mac OS Big Sur. And here you would find a configuration file, Mac OS Big Sur or whatever your machine name is. And the type is set to VMware virtual machine configuration. Right click and then open with notepad. And this is how it should look like. Now scroll to the end of this file. And then head back to your download folder to get the SMBIOS file. Okay. Now what you have to do is copy the commands down here for AMD only. Copy everything. And then paste it in our macOS Big Sur configuration file at the end there. And then we can save. Now you shouldn't do this if you're using an Intel processor. Just like me, I'm using an Intel processor so I don't need this. But if you're using an AMD processor then you need to paste this. So I'm just going to delete it since I'm using an Intel processor. And then we can close our configuration file. Close SMBIOS for now. And then play virtual machine. So first, we have to set a language for the installation. And then continue. Next, we have to erase the disk before we install Mac OS. So go to disk utility. Continue. And you should find VMware Virtual SATA Hard Drive Media with the size you allocated. Now click on Erase. And then you can give it whatever name you want. I'm just going to call this Mac OS 11. Erase. And then click on Done. Now let's close this window. And then click on Install Mac OS Big Saw. Continue. Continue. Agree to the terms. Select the hard drive you erased just now, continue and it should start installing. This should take around an hour or less. It all depends on your PC specs and how much resources are located to your virtual machine. It will restart severely while installing, so let's just wait. Now set up based on your personal preference. Now if you look closely, you can see that this is a little bit slow and that is because of the graphics memory. It is extremely low, around 3 to 7 megabytes display graphics. So we have to increase that after the setup. Now ignore the Apple sign in for now. So we are going to click on setup later. Enter the details which you are going to use to access your machine. Now you can choose between the light mode or the dark mode, whichever you prefer. You can change this later in your settings and the installation is complete now we can go to about this mac and you should see that the graphics memory is three megabytes which is extremely low and that is why our machine is performing very slow next this is a generic serial number which we have to change to an actual mac serial so let's close this first let's eject Mac OS Big Saw ISO from our desktop and then click on player up here manage and then install VMware tools install VMware tools 
continue install enter your password to confirm you're the one performing this now open security preference to allow vmware to still run so if you look down here you should see system software from developer vmware was blocked first we unlock this and then we click on allow and then we have to restart sign in with your password now we can go to about this mark and you can see that the display memory has been increased to 128 megabytes which is a lot more fast now now we also have to change the serial like i mentioned earlier so let's close this and then open our safari browser and then search for clover configurator now click on the first link that heads to marquee 100 projects and then click on download and it should start downloading after downloading we can close our browser and then run clover configurator from our download folder now let's view this in full screen we also need our text file from our download folder so let's head back to our download folder and then open our SMBIOS text file which we are going to use for the modification so I'm just going to keep it at the side now we'll click on OK and then head back to system preferences again go to privacy and security it should be somewhere around here now let's open anyway under Clover Configurator open and this is Clover Configurator First, we click on SMBIOS and then we have to generate SMBIOS for our machine. Now, click on this icon by the side and then the model we are going to select is MacBook Pro 14,3 right here. And let's open our text file. So, we have a few things to replace. First is the model. Instead of iMac Pro 14,3, it is MacBook Pro 14,3. So just copy it from the product name here. Next, we have to generate a serial number, and then we generate a ROM, and then we generate MLB. Next, we have to paste the board ID, which you can find right here under board ID. Copy that as well. Paste. Next, we have to generate serial number. So let's head back here and then click on generate new under the serial number copy the generated serial next we have to generate rom so now let's head back and then click on rot variables and then under rom click on generate and from here we can copy the rom and mlb okay so we have everything we need right here now let's close clover configurator and then shut down our machine now let's head back to our virtual machine configuration file in my case i can find it in documents virtual machines then mac os big saw and here is the virtual machine configuration file with file type virtual machine configuration right click and then open with notepad all right now locate firmware equal to efi somewhere around here you could also search if you can't find it and then let's add a new line now we can paste everything we modified right here paste it there 
next we search for ethernet and you should see ethernet zero connection type set to not and then the address type set to generated now change the address type from generated to static and then set the virtual dev to vmx net 3 find next and then you should find ethernet 0 dot generated address equal to then a value right here so let's change from ethernet 0 dot generated address to ethernet 0 dot address instead and then the values here we have to match it with an actual mac address all right so here's an example we have to replace the first three values in my case i'm just going to use the first one 000393 so let's replace that 003393 and then next we change generated address offset here and then replace it with check mark address set the value to false and then we can save ctrl s and close this Now let's open VMware and run our machine again. Now log in with your password. So basically this is how to install Mac OS Big Sur on VMware. Now you can log into your iCloud, use all Apple services and everything should work without any issue. Now we can head back to check about this Mac. And you can see the serial number has been changed to the new serial number we added. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.